Welcome back to Satisfactory Episode 4, guys. In the last one, we got all this built. And today, we are going to build our train intake. Well, our, our tra train platforms. Uh, I want them to be down there. Uh, I might change these foundations to be glass because we want to see the water, of course. The pretty, pretty water. Uh, but... Uh, we want our trains to come in here, and it's a very, very, very lucky coincidence that uh, they actually fit down here, uh, because I did not plan for this at all. Um, I did not measure it out, so I just got really, really lucky that they'll actually fit under the road. As in, crazy lucky. It's ridiculous how lucky I got that these will actually fit down here. So yeah, uh, we'll have our train stations down here. We are going to need, I think, two, three, three train stations down here. Three train stations. And uh, yeah... Um, they're gonna come in from over there come in here go around somehow and come out and go back so um, that's the plan that is the plan so uh, yeah let's uh, get to it I'll uh, start building train stations and get it going out and join up with our train network which is out there somewhere and and then we'll um, we'll see how it all lines up. So yeah, settle in, guys. Okay, we have our uh, train stations in. We have two train stations. I settled on two train stations. We have a steel fuel delivery, and we have a steel products pickup, where we'll be picking up the products that we are producing here in our steel complex. So yeah, and it's it's three products, isn't it? So it's uh, steel beams, steel pipes, and well, actually it's four encased industrial beams, as well, and the uh, heavy frames. I also got power going over here by connecting up our uh, train network. So we have it running along the river here. So as you will see, it's running along the river. It's a it's a curvy piece of rail. And it's basically running all along and over connecting over to our uh, fuel power plant. So yeah. It's pretty good. I put in these uh, side rails I think I'll uh, put them down so that they are covering the foundations here. So these are basically just uh, one meter wall segments that I've put in on our curved thingy. And, and that's it. And the next thing that we need to do is put in... Uh, I want to get power going over to our main building and get some lights set up on that. Uh, and figure out where we're going to p place the rest of the buildings because we are going to have several other buildings here. So get the power going in here, going up to our control room, figure out uh, how we're going to set the control room up, get some uh, maybe some lights going in the uh, smelting slash main building area, uh, which we of course have here if I can get through this hole. I struggle with that sometimes, but I made it because I am a pro. So yeah, get uh, lights in this building here and figure out where the rest of the buildings go and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, still lots of stuff to do. So let's move on. Okay. So up here is our control room. We have a bunch of 
power switches, iron plates, iron steel, or iron smelting, all of the steel smelting. And a lot of them aren't hooked up yet, as you can see. It doesn't say anything. We don't know what they're going to be. Uh, but over here, we have our lights. And so our lights are on a separate switch. Well, if you turn off the facility breaker, they will that will turn off the lights as well. Uh, but right now, we have lights on in all our different areas not the sorting room because that doesn't have a roof yet uh, sorry sorting room but i think it's looking pretty darn good and i really like the lighting in here i like that it's kind of highlighting each machine mostly it, it's looking good it's looking good and uh, we have we have it in all of the rooms and i really like how it looks I think it's very nice. We have it down here as well. Beautiful. And over here as well. Wonderful. So we got the power over. Uh, and we got some lights set up. We even got lights out front here. Uh, we have some street lights for the trucks. So they can see what they're doing. And we have some lights on the facade of the building and i think it looks it looks pretty good also i put in some uh, some uh, what are they called some signs down here uh, with ju just shining white just to accent the building a little bit and i think it looks pretty okay i think it looks pretty darned okay I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah. It, it, it's good. It's good. Now, I haven't done all the belts yet. Uh, I will do that. Uh, I think maybe in this episode. But in order to do that, I need to figure out how we're getting stuff into the building. And back here in this cubby hole... We have all the nasty, nasty cabling, and there's going to be more of it, quite a lot more actually, because we're going to bring the light or, or the cables for each facility down through this and down into the um, down into the garage down here, where I haven't put lights or anything yet, but I will. So we'll have the garage down here with our uh, truck unloading stations and loading station for the fuel and uh, yeah it, it, it's coming together i feel like it's coming together somehow now over there is a new building and i just fell out the wall that's not ideal and i am losing low on fuel i need to go pick some up i still have 116 so it's not like I'm dying uh, from fuel, lack of fuel, but it's getting there. But this over here is our next uh, production setup, and it's actually complete except for power. So that is what it looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, guys. But let's take a look inside. So we have a kind of a, a foyer i'd say here we'll have this light shining down into it to light it up and uh, in here we'll be producing 240 iron plates a minute now that is a small uh, production setup it's basically eight uh, constructors that will be producing 240 and we'll have a nice window here this will extend out there will be a building behind this which i think will be making screws and possibly uh, reinforced iron plate that is the thought anyway right now so yeah and uh, we'll have two big uh, uh, wall mounted lights at each end here because 
I don't want to put lights on our uh, skylight. And I, I kind of like these uh, uh, sloped roofs. I, I, I like that. And I also like our, fo our foyer here. I, I think it looks good. I think the building looks good. Look at the main building and and the uh, control room there. I think it looks pretty darn good. I really do. I really, really do. And this out here will be, well, this will be, will be uh, iron plate production. We'll, of course, continue our street lights down this way. So that we have lights for our trucks. Maybe I'll put some lights up here or something. I don't know. Maybe make it a little bit uh, spacey by putting uh, some some signs on there or something with uh, that are just bright signs or I, I I don't know. I don't know. If you have suggestions, I would love them. But I think it's looking good. So. That's obviously smelting, that's iron plates. Behind that we'll have, I think, uh, screws and uh, reinforced iron plates. Then we'll have, uh, on the other side, somewhere over there, we'll have pipes being made. And, uh, and beams, probably, as well. And then somewhere we'll have our, um, our just our modular frames set up, and in here will be our main production facility, our uh, our heavier modular frames, and I think probably uh, something else as well because the four manufacturers that are going to to make the heavy modular frames are not going to be big enough to really fill out this space so we'll have some other stuff in here as well and i'm really looking forward to this coming together i'm thinking that we'll have it'll be like a small uh, factory village that we'll have going i i think it's going to be great and i think this looks pretty good we need of course need to put the roof on that and some and stuff like that but other than that I think it's pretty sweet. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, give me suggestions. Uh, I love suggestions and I love ideas. So if you have ideas that I can make my own, then uh, please, please share them. Because, uh, well, uh, many minds make up better ideas than a single mind, I guess. I hope. If you share. So uh, please go ahead and share. I'll steal your ideas and, and make them my own in this playthrough. Okay, so we have our miners set up here. And they are overclocked to produce 454 parts per minute. This is an iron ore mine. Uh, so we have three of those, two here. These two are being split onto uh, two 120 lines so that we have a single 240 uh, belt here. Uh, so it's, it's a 270 belt, but it's uh, carrying 240 iron ingots a minute. The rest go on to the other belts on each side here. This all uh, comes in here, goes through this uh, thing, this channel here, and comes in to back here which is the maintenance room uh, and it's very very messy uh, so we also have iron ore coming from over there also 454 per minute and this is all being split so these two uh, lines where we took uh, 120 from each they are being split into four different lines. And uh, then we have, of course, the, uh, the 240 uh, line as well, which is at the top. Uh, then we have uh, our other 
uh, belt of uh, iron ore here. That is coming in and being split as well. It is being split here into four lines and they then merge. Uh, so one of the lines from this belt merges with one of the lines from these two belts. These two belts have been split twice. So we have an even amount on each belt. Then uh, over here we will have our uh, compacted coal coming in. That is being uh, coming out on two belts here, being split into four lines and again uh, coming over and going up into these floor holes. Whoops. Uh, so we have two of our steel production uh, units here, uh, kind of under the, the ground floor, and the same over here, well, one over there and one over there. And then if we go upstairs, everything is coming up. So let's run upstairs. And take a look. I do like the lights here. It's really nice. So everything comes up here. And here we have a glass wall so we can see all of the belt work going on. And they're basically being rooted to... It looked like it wasn't connected, but I th think it is. I hope it is. Uh, so that's all being... Uh, sent up to where it needs to go and then all of the steel is being sent over here to our sorting room and our iron is being sent back down on this our iron plates or our iron ingots sorry are being sent back down here underground and will go over to our uh, building over there where we'll be making the iron plates and the reason i did it so that we get 240 iron uh, a minute on one belt is for producing the iron ingots because that's a one-to-one -one. Uh, that's not the iron production the iron production is at the top so we can see all our belt work here which i kind of like here is our iron production it's uh, 30 in the ingots per uh, 30 iron ore per minute producing 30 ingots per minute. So it's one to one. Yeah. That's basically it. Uh, I, I, of course, need to put on in some lights in here somewhere. I don't really know where I'm going to do that yet. Uh, and this needs to be closed off down here. But right now I'm leaving it open because I feel like I might need to get in there. So, um, so yeah, and all of uh, the belts and all of the machines are hooked up with power and everything. So, in reality, we could uh, turn this on and uh, and start producing. But we're not going to do that yet because I want kind of want everything to fire up at the same time with one uh, one flick of the switch, and we get the entire factory producing that's the idea anyway but that will be it for this episode so um yeah thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time